Hey everybody, Jeremy from 2019 Honor Hike, and today I'm going to go over how to construct some food preparation bags. So what I'm going to be doing on this hike is taking my freeze-dried meals and pouring them into quart size freezer bags, Ziploc bags, in order to reconstitute them. I want to thank Mountain House Meals for being a supporter of 2019 Honor Hike. Thank you Mountain House for providing good quality products and also supporting 2019 Honor Hike. So what this food bag is going to do is once you put the boiling water into the quart size freezer bag, it gives you a place to keep it warm so that it can reconstitute properly. The main thing is this Reflectix material. So Reflectix you can typically buy in something like a 25 foot roll at your local hardware store. Essentially what it is is this foil line bubble wrap. But it's a good insulator used in a lot of commercial applications and we're going to take a look at it for making our food bags. So what we're going to be having is these use the freezer quart size bags. Those can withstand boiling water that you're going to need to reconstitute your food. So what I did to come up with the sizing for this was I filled up a Ziploc bag completely with water to make sure I had my dimensions right so that the material would completely enclose the bag when full. Obviously we're never going to have a full to the rim bag, but this one can, can hold it. I did that for size purposes. Alright, so what you're going to need for this is the Reflectix material. Again, a quart bag for sizing some Velcro tabs, a pair of scissors, and a commercial heat sealer. So I'll go through here and show you. What I like to do is take off about half to an inch of this material off around the edges. I've tried it with razor blades, with everything under the sun, and what I found works best is just simply using scissors. So we'll go through this here. Take a little off the top there, and I'm going to turn around and run it down the sides here. Careful not to cut into the whole thing, you're just trying to take this foil portion and very lightly take it off with leaving the plastic underneath behind. Once you've got it the whole way, you want to try and lift up a corner. You may have to cut a little bit to get it started. Because again, you're trying to preserve the plastic underneath. So once you do that, then you can just pull the foil off. And the plastic underneath remains intact. So you'll do that all the way around the three sides of the perimeter of your bag. Careful not to go too high, you want to preserve what you're going to leave for a uh, flap at the end. Once you get all the way around, you can decide how you like to trim it up to finalize it. But essentially we have here the three sides with the plastic exposed. So what we do from that point is we do a fold over matching up the plastic, and then put it into a commercial heat sealer. Give it a press down there, and it seals the plastic together, making a, a bond there so that the bag stays intact on its own. Holds up very well to the heat that you're going to be putting in the bag, and basically just welds the plastic together. This flap here is trimmed down so that it can fit down inside the bag. And then this is the lid, which we'll attach some Velcro straps to, to fold it down to keep it completely insulated. Alright, so once we get it all heat sealed, as you can see here, a very nicely welded together seam on the outside. Put my hand in there, it's not giving, it's not stretching. Creates a nice, tight seal. Attach the Velcro there, 
I did mine in a vertical configuration. That way, if the size of the bag expands, then I can still get a seal without having a narrow horizontal piece. So once you take your mountain house meal and put it in your quart size freezer bag, you're going to fill it up with your boiling water. Put it inside your bag. Tuck it in, seal it up, and you're good to go. Leave it there for the prescribed amount of time, stirring occasionally if you like. And then when you're done, you will have a nice piping hot serving of food. So there you have it, insulated food preparation bags. Uh, if you don't want to venture out to make one on your own, we're going to provide a link to an Etsy store uh, below the video so that you can just uh, purchase one online. Again, make sure you tune in to 2019 Honor Hike, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as find us on Instagram and Facebook, 2019 Honor Hike. Thanks.